Hello again and welcome to my channel, the channel that doesn't have any niche. Come to say, having no niche is my niche. Right now in Malaysia, we are still undergoing the CMCO, conditional, I mean, uh, correctional uh, motion control order. Uh, but of course, we are recovering from the crisis that we are, we had, uh, been uh, suffering for the past three months so right now when i say we are recovering we are also recovering in terms of the economics so uh, rather than making noise and making fuss out of it why don't we try to save so in my case um, when we sleep at night we tend to switch on the normal ceiling lights uh, which I think would take uh, a bigger voltage and it, the bill would be much higher rather than if we try to use a cheaper one, right? So what I have here is the LED FSL 6 watts 470 luminous, right? So I guess this would uh, save a lot because it's running on 6 watts rather than the conditional fluorescent light which takes 40 watts and uh, the worst uh, if you use the filament bulb it can reach until 150 watts which will be like a uh, hundred times uh, more than if we are using this led fsl 6 watts uh, 470 luminous okay let me tell you about the luminous of the fluorescent light the luminous of the fluorescent light, if you are using the 40 watts bulb, is about 490, uh, which is just 20 luminous higher than this one, right? So, uh, anyway, the main purpose of using this is to save the electricity bill, alright? So, let's uh, have a look what we have inside uh, for the bulb. <coughs> And we have box there. There you are. LED, uh, it's called a ball size, the size of a, a little bigger than the ping pong. But of course, if you want to use this bulb, you have to get a lamp to put it on. So, what I did was, I got myself from IKEA this RC. Arstit, sorry, uh, table lamp. Okay, so let's figure out how does we install it. So by the way, I got it for 79 ringgits. 79. This is, the box is not heavy. I think, I guess it's about less than one kilogram. So if IKEA doesn't give you any plastic bags, which they don't because we are trying to be environment friendly so you just can hold it through the holes there and bring it home okay now before we open this box obviously we need some standard hand tools uh, i guess we get ready with a knife uh, test pen which has a minus tip on it and we need a phillips screwdriver which is a cross and I think we're gonna need a pair of scissors so let's start with the knife we need to cut the cellophane tip over there <coughs> right. let's see what we have inside I guess this is the holder to hold this shade. Put it there. This is the shade. Oh, it's winded. So, 
and you have to well, maybe just carefully cut the plastic wrapping without damaging the goods itself. <coughs> Right, there it is. Uh, let me tell you about the material. Yeah? Uh, it looks like paper, but it's not. Actually, it's fabric. And the inner lining is hard plastic. So it is sturdy enough. Yeah? I can see the quality in there. Yeah? Sturdy. <coughs> uh, what else? Four cardboard boxes. I guess it, they need it to secure the whole thing when it gets transported. <coughs> yeah. There's the bug holder. Yes, this is where the bug came up later on. The whole electrical connections. <coughs> Again, you need some uh, scissors to cut the plastic off. Be careful not to cut the cable, right? Or we're going to be in trouble. You cannot claim the warranty if you accidentally cut the wires. No. <coughs> okay. If you don't if you don't have to cut the plastic, you better not. Just unlock the things because all of these plastic bags, you can always use it for any other purposes in the future. So keep this. Right? <clears throat> now the body, mm, it's steady, quite firm, high quality. This is the heaviest part of the lamp, obviously, because this is going to sit on anywhere that you put it on. So when it is heavy and this this thing is light, so it just it doesn't topple over. Keep it steady, right? And uh, we have the instruction booklet, <coughs> which will help me in assembling all of this together <clears throat> that's some of the disclaimer comes in many many languages right you have english dutch french netherlands danish uh, and so on and so forth. We have Spain, Italian, Portuguese. Uh, we even have it in Swami. Okay. Gonna keep this. It's very important, right? In any claim uh, or display, we need that. <clears throat> so what's next? Let's look at the manual on how to put it on. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so firstly, here's the stand. So it says you have to slide it in. Uh, doesn't go in. But why? says that you have to take off this plastic thing over here ah okay it's a protective ring because this is sharp so we have this plastic ring to protect these sharp edges so that you won't cut yourself so what you do is you just use this small screwdriver and plug it off there you are plastic covering we have it at the bottom 
and another one right on top there there's another one let's see if it goes in yeah it does so you just screw it in clockwise And another one. This one goes in there. Okay, this piece is supposed to go in there, but this wire is too long. So what you do is you pull this wire from the bottom until this part goes in. There you are. In place, you just screw it in so clockwise slowly. Okay. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> oh, anyway, it's written over here. There's a warning that says the maximum allowable wattage to install a bulb in here is 75 watts. So don't use any other bulbs that is more than 75 watts because I guess uh, the wattage is going to melt this thing because some of it is plastic. Right. So there you go. Turn it on. Next. <clears throat> okay. It says here that you have to untie these cable knots, cable ties. Right there. And so that you have a comfortable length of the power cable. Okay. <coughs> and make sure that the cable that was loose like so just now goes into that slot over there. Slide them. Slide it in there so it doesn't go anywhere, right? Next, next you have to unscrew this little uh, plastic screws from it and in goes the shit holder. The shit holder there and screw it back in. Comfortably, okay. there you are. make it secure and so that it doesn't topple when you were using it. <clears throat> and what's next? Oh, this tip here you have to unscrew the tip. Okay, so the piece, that little metal piece there, because you have to put the shade on now and we're finally there and this hole goes right on top there but before that before you install this it doesn't say here that you have to put the bulb in right so you have to figure out this step by your own after step seven, right? <clears throat> Before you install the shades, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to install the bulb. 
So valve, be careful. Don't drop it. So you just put it in this hole right there. Screw it in. Okay. Okay. One thing that I think you should not do is to touch the glass part, right? Because you have moisture on your hands or your fingertips. You have salt uh, because our body produces, produces salt. So it's not advisable to hold it on the glass part. Just hold it on the bottom part of the bulb, okay? Just go it in. Just enough, just enough, okay? And now to put the shade on. <coughs> right. Okay, this hole to the tip. So you can turn around. You don't want that. So remember the tip. This is where the tip goes on top. There. We're done. Everything is the same as in the booklet. <coughs> so this is the switch on and off switch. Classic. It's sturdy. It's, it's very stabilized, balanced. It doesn't topple easily. It's good. So now we're gonna try it out. So I plug the cable to the socket and let's see whether it works. There you go. Alright. Looks good. It's not too bright, so you can sleep comfortably rather than having this ceiling lights which will uh, interfere with your eyes when you close it it's not easy to get to sleep so this is easier it's much uh, relaxing and i like it so from ikea this is the product from ikea the RST Tebalan at 79 ringgit is a bargain because it's, it's a I can feel that it's a quality thing and it works nice okay so thank you for viewing this opening of the box the unboxing of this RST Tebalan and uh, hope to see you again in my next videos. See ya. Bye bye.